and make a start. And good morning, everyone, and can I welcome members to the 15th meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have apologies from David Torrance this morning, who is unable to join us. Move to agenda item one, which is instruments subject to affirmative procedure, and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the draft Public Services Reform, Corporate Insolvency and Bankruptcy Scotland Order 2017. So is the committee content with this instrument? Thank you very much. We now move to agenda item two, which is instrument subject to negative procedure. And the next instrument for consideration is the Town and Country Planning Fees for Applications and Deemed Applications, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 120. I'd like to draw committee's attention to my register of interest as I am a, although I'm not practising, I'm a member of the Royal Town Planning Institute. OK, many thanks, um, Monica. And so the purpose of these regulations is to amend the town and country planning fees for applications and deemed applications Scotland regulations 2004 to increase certain planning fees. Our legal advisers have identified that the regulations appear to be defectively drafted in two respects. Firstly, the fee level in respect of sites with an area exceeding 7.6 hectares for planning applications connected with exploratory drilling for oil or natural gas is incorrect. There is an error in the specification of the fee in paragraph 8 of the schedule as the figure of £30,240 specified in paragraph 8b should in fact be £30,476. Secondly, the regulations omit to amend paragraph 14 of Schedule 1 of the 2004 regulations I mentioned to reflect the increased fees stated in the new table of fees in these regulations. Accordingly, does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of Parliament under reporting ground I, as they appear to be defectively drafted in two respects for the reasons I have just outlined? Agreed. Thank you. Also, does the committee agree to welcome the Scottish Government's intention to bring forward an amending instrument to rectify these errors before the regulations come into force on the 1st of June 2017? Agreed. Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the regulation of Scallop Fishing Order, Scallop Fishing Scotland Order 2017 SSI 2017 number 127, or the M9A90 M90 Trunk Road Kirkliston to Holbeath variable speed limits and. I Managed Hard Shoulder Amendment Regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number 128 or the Cattle Identification Scotland Amendment Regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number 133 or the National Assistance Assessment of Resources Amendment Scotland Regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number 134 or the National Assistance Sums for Personal Requirements Scotland Regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number 135 or the Scottish Landfill Tax Administration Amendment Regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number 139. So is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Thank you. Moving now to agenda item three, which is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Act of Sedarent Rules of the Court of Session 1994 and Ordinary Cause Rules 1993 Amendment Competition Proceedings 2017 SSI 2017 number 130 
or the Act of Sudan Rules of the Court of Session 1994 Amendment Vexatious Actions 2017 SSI 2017 number 131 or the Act of Student Rules of the Court of Session 1994 and Sheriff Court Rules, Curators Ad Litem 2017 SSI 2017 number 132. So is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Thank you. I will now move the meeting into private.